Hi, I'm Tia Kozlovich. I'm Mickey. And we started with Ronald McDonald House uh, in 1992. Our 11-month-old son underwent open-heart surgery. We knew at that time that we were going to be with him 24-7. You know, we were just kind of sleeping in chairs and I'm sure annoying the nurses. Whatever it took to be by our son's side. When they told us that, uh, that there was a place where we could stay, they thought, you know, I really don't want to leave him, even if it was just for a little bit. But they reassured us that they would take really good care of Cody while we were gone. We had a room for that night, plus the next nine nights, and 30 years later, we're still involved because it was just such a great experience. To have a place to go, to get out of those beeps and alarms and everything that's going on in that intensive care unit, and just to get a break from that was incredible. But what was really important were the other people there. Just being there to support and comfort each other, that was really the huge thing for me, I think. Like Mickey said, to get away from the sharp lights and the beeps were just enough to have you be able to take on the next day, whatever was going to happen that next day. One of the big things for us is the Thanksgiving meal tradition. And this will be our 30th year this year. Yeah, we cook a lot of turkey, a lot of stuffing. 40 pounds of mashed potatoes. But the real, real best part of Thanksgiving is talking to the families and seeing the great appreciation that people have. There, there's no greater cause than helping an ill child. It's critical for people to have that kind of support. People did that for us, so I want to be able to do it for them. I think it's important for people to know that but it still takes a lot more. So please continue to give, or if you're thinking about giving, please do give. It's needed, it's, it's welcomed, very much so. It's not just a building, it's not just a meal, it's not all the things that are going on. The concerns, the worries, the, the fears, they don't go away when you go into the house, but the house makes it feel like somehow it's gonna be okay.